going to do a sketchbook tour today. I haven't done one in, in quite a while, but today we're going to take a look at a sketchbook that I just completed. I started this back in March of this year. It's now, oh, middle of October, the 16th, 17th of October. So <clears throat> I maintain a lot of different sketchbooks, and every once in a while I actually get one filled up. I can look at the shelf. I think I have 53 sketchbooks completely filled, something like that. Um, so this is uh, this is the next one that I filled up. We'll, we'll go on the shelf shortly. So in most sketchbooks, I have a page at the beginning of the book where I just write down notes and it's got my address in here. We we stayed at a brewery in the woods and uh, they had stickers that they were giving away. So just different things. The um, the first sketch in the book is a gatehouse down at the beach. We were down there in March and uh, did a quick sketch and when I got home I straightened things up a bit and um, started painting it with uh, um, just some ink. So it's an ink wash drawing of the gatehouse at the beach uh, in March when there's nobody at the beach because it's nice and cold in Rhode Island in March still and it was a nice cold day so that's, uh, that's the, the, the beach house. The next sketch in here is another ink drawing and this was the first day, uh, June uh, June 11th, so obviously I didn't use my book for about three months, six months, uh, three months. And on June 11th was the first day that uh, I joined the Urban Sketchers here in Rhode Island. I've been part of the Urban Sketchers group internationally for a number of years. Uh, and I say a part of it, I've contributed to their, their Flickr page and uh, with, with my sketches and stuff. And uh, it's a great group of people, They're very inspirational to go out and look at all the different drawings. And it's even more inspirational when you have a, uh, a group of like-minded people in your area that you can sit and sketch with. So this is the carousel and the little bridge. This is water down here. Um, uh, the view that day, we, we were to meet at the carousel. And I sat down across the water and just did an ink drawing. Um, a little while later, my friend Kathy and I, we, we go sketching frequently together. Um, this is over on 5th Street here in East Providence, over by Pierce Field. Um, took our chairs, sat down in the early morning sunshine, and painted the row of houses there. Um, I always have fun just sitting on the sidewalk. We met a few people that day, stopped by. Um, my wife was uh, taking a yoga class on a pier on a pond in, in uh, West Warwick, Rhode Island. And um, I sat with the dog and uh, waited for her to have her yoga class, and this was the scene in front of me. So <laughs> it was a quick one. It was, you know, but uh, you, you, sometimes you're limited to what's just in front of you. So yeah, that was that was a some abandoned mill in uh, in Warwick, West Warwick, Rhode Island. Another early morning sketch with Kathy. We sat on uh, the bench by the. Uh, by the Sacred Cow Ice Cream Stand in East Providence, and this was the view looking up the hill. Uh, it's it's I I just love the the old houses in East Providence and, and all of New England. The houses are just inspirational. Uh, coming from Illinois, uh, the architecture is so cool. Um, looks like the first of July we went to the Dog Beach. This is uh, Compass Rose Beach, down in Quonset Point in uh, North Kingston. And it's the only beach in Rhode Island that in the summertime dogs are allowed on. So we, we seldom go anywhere with our uh, little puppy. So we sat on the beach. Uh, I taped off a page and uh, um, these were people who were sitting in front of us overlooking Narragansett Bay. And that's uh, Jamestown, I believe I'm looking at on the far shore there. Another one back in East Providence again. This is a, uh, uh, an ink study uh, once again. Uh, this is uh, Warren Avenue going up the hill here, and it's the on-ramp onto Route 195. This is an old uh, building that needs to be restored. It's a beautiful old building. Um, and we just sat there and sketched for, sketched for a while. Uh, again, I was with Kathy. We were out in the morning sketching and uh, had great fun. Uh, this is another one with the Urban Sketchers. We went to Slater Mill, uh, the historic mill in Rhode Island. Um, it claims to be the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution here in, uh, in, uh, uh, in the United States. Um, we know what happened in England first, but it happened in Rhode Island first in the United States with this mill, uh, Slater Mill. A uh, great place to visit if you have any interest in that sort of history. Boy, this is, this is just a wonderful place to go visit. 
Uh, we went camping uh, in in uh, in July, and uh, this we went up to Sutton, Mass. This is the uh, uh, the campground uh, on next to a pond. Uh, this was the view from our campsite. It was what a great spot. We had this little beach next to us. Uh, the pond was a little stagnant, and uh, none of us had gotten the water, but it was a, a great place to be. This is the camp store and uh, at the campground there. Um, it, just a great old store and there was just so much going on there that I had to I had to get it all in from the from the cigarette uh, stand here or ashtray whatever that thing's called that you put your cigarettes in so you don't start a fire and, and the signs and they saw only the, the campgrounds have been here since I think the 1930s is what she said and uh, I don't think they sell oleo anymore but they do sell big juicy worms and and they play bingo and all sorts of things. So it was a very nice campground, very, very family-oriented campground. We had a very good time there. Uh, a couple more uh, illustrations, uh, illustrations, drawings, sketches from that day, uh, from that time up there. We were there for a couple of days. This, this is uh, the same pond without the trees in it and stuff. And I like this one better. I, 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 this was more of a wet and wet. I think this actually has a better feeling of the pond. And, there's an RV with the lady sitting in front of it, and uh, Carol and Ann and sitting there, and yeah, chit-chatting away by the fireside. Um, this is back with the Urban Sketchers again, uh, up at Central Falls, and this uh, this English canal boat is tied up there. I think they you can stay on board or charter it or something. And uh, I didn't do it justice. It's a very charming looking boat, and uh, this is more uh, uh, less than less than my standards uh, I'll leave it like that but I moved over and sat on the picnic bench and got out of the Sun a little bit and got my pens out and did an ink drawing this is the same thing that boat was tied same day the boat was tied up right here and the way that shadow was creeping across the uh, the house and I, it was to me the house was just a perfect arrow shape pointing pointing up um, I just thought it was a, an amusing uh, subject matter so I had a good time playing with values, lights and darks, shadows and all that stuff. Um, the next time the Urban Sketchers met was up on Federal Hill in Providence. And this one got a little muddy on me, but it was uh, that kind of a day. And uh, yeah, sitting on the roadside. And I moved over, got in the shade again. It was another hot day. This is across the street from that last drawing at De Pasquale Square. And I was trying to get the reflected light up underneath this fountain there, and the fountain was bubbling and making noises and stuff. Um, and it was it was it was a great day. Um, not the most successful sketching day, but uh, I have good memories of that day. Then we went on vacation. We took the RV and headed west. We're headed to Wisconsin. And I got uh, got this sketch in uh, at a vineyard in upstate New York. We actually spent a few days just bumming around from vineyard to vineyard in upstate New York and it was just a wonderful time and uh, I got sketches in several different books but this is this is um, this is uh, the first place we stayed there at Hummingbird Hills uh, in Fultonville New York and this was way out in the country and it was just beautiful rolling hills and scenery um, and we stayed at uh, a winery in Pinyan New York uh, right on the shores of Seneca Lake and um, this is look, looking out at the far hills across the lake, but you can't see the lake. And I was struck by the blue roofs of these houses in the vineyard down across the street. So we were at one vineyard across the streets, another vineyard, and uh, the barns had blue tin roofs, and the house had a blue tin roof as well. So it was kind of an interesting little scene for me. I was playing around with gouache. I don't normally uh, work in gouache, and I'm trying to trying to get more and more accustomed to it. So. Um, and then this is uh, the vineyard that we're staying at. This is actually the view from the other, looking the other direction from, from that, uh, that spot. Um, uh, just a, uh, no, this was, this was, no, this was the next vineyard. This was the very Italian looking vineyard. Um, yeah, this was, we, we had a great time here. This one uh, had a really nice tasting room overlooking the valley. Very nice. Uh, and then, uh, after we got home from that vacation, I got, like I say, I got other sketchbooks with other drawings and stuff. After we got home from that vacation, um, I met up with the Urban Sketchers again. And this is uh, not my best work. This is just, it looks like something a grade school kid had done. Um, yeah, well, we'll pass on. Uh, I'm, I'm deteriorating here, going downhill rapidly. I was playing cribbage and and having a, a nice day. I was playing around. I, I picked up a tube of Payne's Gray and 
uh, tried to use that instead of the ink that I've been using but I don't know how successful it was that dinghy kept floating around and stuff then the following day we took the ferry down to Newport and uh, we were waiting for it to come back home and I had my sketchbook with me we went to the boat show um, and the sun was setting directly in front of me right behind these boats and everything was kind of backlit and um, that was an interesting exercise anyway I had fun and that's the that's the key to it all isn't having having fun with your drawings uh, and then we went out to uh, my friend Kathy and I went out uh, one morning uh, down to Bullock's Cove which is uh, right near the marina where we used to keep our boat and this is a, a great view just overlooking some houses and stuff and had a couple boats tied up to the dock and um, this was in uh, the end of, towards the end of September and the fall colors were starting to uh, the trees were not as bright green as they were they started to to dull down a bit and uh, it's all pretty colors now and then well then we <clears throat> my wife and I went for a hike out on Cape Cod and we always have to stop at the Christmas tree shop in Cape Cod my wife loves the the stuff that they sell there and it's a fantastic building that they built it's got a thatched roof and a windmill and it's a stone stucco stone building it's a very very uh, charming building <coughs> this is a you know behind the steering wheel type of drawing with a sketchbook um, and she was not gone nearly long enough I didn't have time to finish but um, once I quit the, the drawings are done and I don't go back so that's what I got that day uh, then uh, one morning I went to, to breakfast at the Posse Diner and, and had my little tin of colors with me and I got pretty intense right in here with the color uh, which is not like me at all but uh, I, it, it came out okay I'm, I'm not I'm not completely displeased with this one um, as always I wish I had more time but I had I had things to do there was eggs and toast and stuff in front of me so um, my wife and I Pardon me. We do a lot of a lot of hiking, and I did this sketch um, from a photo I took with uh, with the iPhone. That we were hiking in the woods were a very bright sunlight day, and we looked up in the trees. And this is about 20 feet off the ground. Looked up in the trees, and behind this grouping of trees, it went into just total darkness. It was just kind of an amazing exercise in light and dark. And I said I should try to sketch that night. <coughs> Pardon me. Took a took a, uh, uh, a snapshot with my iPhone and um, sat here at the table and this is what I came up with. And this is the ship, the Joa, which was Roland Munson's uh, ship that he used in looking for the Northwest Passage. And um, this is at a museum in Oslo in Norway. He was Norwegian. So this is a, at a museum, a uh, maritime museum in, in Oslo and um, this is also the first model ship I ever built um, uh, was the Joa. Uh, I must have been 15 years old. It started as the first wooden model ship I built. I built several plastic ones as every kid does, but first wooden model ship I built. This was just playing around with values, um, which my little value sketch here uh, is a lot better than the, the final product over here. Um, I went way too dark with this. This should have been very light. But this is a, from a photo, that I, an iPhone photo that I took uh, driving from Idaho uh, on, the, on the road to Jackson, Wyoming. And Jackson Hole. Yeah, just a beautiful scenic drive. Just absolutely a fantastic scenic drive. And the colors and stuff, I don't do them justice. Then this past week we were up in uh, uh, Western Mass, uh, up near Pittsfield. And this is the Hancock Shaker Village in the town of Hancock, which is, you know, three miles from, from Pittsfield. And I would recommend everybody, if you're in Massachusetts, to go up to the Hancock Shaker Village. It is just a spectacular place. I could have spent all day there. We only spent a couple of hours there. It was late in the day by the time we got there. And, uh, but it's just, I could have spent the whole day with a sketchbook. But we were with friends and, you know, there was a lot of chatting going on. And you might be able to see some very quick sketches that was going on over here. While, uh, while the tour guy, we took a bit of a tour. And the guy was talking and we were in the cattle barn, but they had goats and sheep and stuff in the barn as well. So, these are our stickers. If you can see these, these are our stickers uh, that we saved because we got a discount at other museums if you save your your receipt. They didn't give us a receipt, but they gave us the stickers. They had the 
the date on them. So this is just more uh, quick sketches uh, around Shaker Village. This is the round barn. It's the main attraction there. It's a stone round barn. It's just spectacular and they could probably fit, I don't know, 200 cattle in there or cows in there to milk, milking barn. And then the center section is the hay storage and um, uh, it's just pretty spectacular. Um, the village is really, really nice. Um, 19th century recreation you know it's a, it's it's all original stuff i think some of the houses have been moved there from other locations but it's just spectacular um and each house was a, uh, this house here i believe had the woodworking shop in it and um uh, you know just different houses all the way around and we were very fortunate when we were up there that we were in absolutely peak fall foliage color it was uh, pretty spectacular up there um, the following day, we went to uh, Herman Melville's house where he wrote Moby Dick. And the name of the house is Arrowhead because they found arrowheads in the field as they were working the fields around there. Um, and the tour was to start at 11 o'clock. I think I started this sketch at about 10 minutes till 11. So I was trying to get down all the basics of it. Um, it started to rain. And um, as I was sketching, and the rubber stamp here got dripped on and when I closed the book it put these spots all over it so um, and that was the last one in the book so that's the end of the sketchbook tour uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, hopefully I'll get another book uh, finished soon or do another tour soon um, I'm starting uh, another book I just uh, I just made so um, one I think I'm gonna try to fill the whole thing with uh, with paintings, you know, you know, more more painterly than than just uh, sketches. But you know, all of my sketches and stuff are done on most of my sketches. I can't say all. There's a couple that I've done here at the desk, but most of them are done on location. So that's it for today. I appreciate you watching this, and um, hope to do another one soon.